Hey everyone, this is Gaurang Raje and in this video we will be taking a look at LT spice simulations for Schmidt trigger for configurations of non-inverting and inverting type, a stable multi-vibrator and sawtooth generator. So let's get right into it. So first we have here the Schmidt trigger configuration of the inverting type since we have the input signal connected to the inverting terminal of the op-amp. So Schmidt trigger is basically an improvement over the comparators since in the comparator we have the problem where if noise is superimposed near the reference voltage and near the um, top edge of amplitude of the input signal it can cause distortions and false triggering at high frequency. So this design improves on it by adding these R1 and R2 register resistors which decide the VUTP and VLTP points. These are the trip points for the Schmidt trigger. This means that whenever the input signal crosses the VLTP, it switches and again it switches when it crosses the VUTP point. So we can run the simulation for this. take our input signal and probe the output as well and we get this waveform. We will enable the grid for better understanding. Here we can see that the output is switching at this point right here which is about 5.87 volts and it is switching again at this point which is minus 6.18 volts. We can see that these points are approximately constant, 5.6 again to go down and the VLTP point which is minus 6 volts. So the, these voltages are decided by these registers again. Next we have this non-inverting Schmidt trigger configuration. We can see that the input signal is connected to the non-inverting terminal of the op-amp. Here too we can verify the output, probe the input and the output signal and we get this output. Here we can see that the voltage level goes from high to low at VLTP point and from low to high at the VUTP point. This is inverse of what happened in the inverting configuration of Schmidt trigger. Here the VUTP and VLTP is decided by the R1 and R2 registers, resistors here. Both the VUTP and VLTP in both these configurations, inverting and non-inverting, have the same magnitude since these are symmetric configurations. Additionally, we should also check the high frequency response of the Schmidt trigger so that we know it's an improvement over the comparator. Changing this value to 1000 Hz and transient analysis to 3 milliseconds. We can see that there is very less distortion in the output. Even though we have sloping edges it is not as bad as the comparators. Now we have the A-stable multivibrator circuit. Here we can see that the op-amp does not have any input signal attached to it. It only has a capacitor at its non-inverting terminal and these resistors in feedback. These resistors R1 and R2 are used to decide the time period of oscillation of the output and consequently we can decide the frequency from these resistors. Also the C1 capacitor is involved in deciding the frequency of the output. We can check the output now. We get a square wave like this which is the expected output for a stable multivibrator. 
for the fourth circuit we have a sawtooth waveform generator so here the first stage is basically a trigger or an a stable multi vibrator then we send that output to be clamped by these zener diodes so um basically we have a stable multi vibrator output as a square wave then the output is clamped by the zener diodes and then that is sent to this stage which is an integrator at the positive terminal or the non inverting terminal of the integrator we have a potentiometer which goes in the range of vcc to vee this configuration is simulation of a potentiometer in lt spice by changing these resistor values we can make the voltage closer to either vcc or vee if we change the r5 value to greater than 8k the voltage at the non inverting terminal will come closer to vee than vcc and vice versa when both these resistors are kept equal we'll have um the value of voltage exactly in the middle of vcc and vee this potentiometer is used to decide the rise time and fall time of the sawtooth wave that we'll obtain at the end of the circuit the rise time and fall time can also be referred to as the t on or t off time so the potentiometer decides the t on or t off time also by getting the value closer to vcc we have a greater t rise time and a lesser fall time so let's check the output for this circuit we'll run the simulation the output at the end of the first stage is a square waveform which we can see here since the time scale has been taken as a large value we see only two pulses then at the end of the second stage we'll get sawtooth waveform which we can see here the rise time is much more than the fall time which gives us the proper sawtooth waveform so this has been a look at four circuits which are inverting and non inverting schmidt trigger a stable multi vibrator and sawtooth waveform generator in lt spice thanks for watching